welcome. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through enrolling a standalone Nexia bridge, as well as our first device. To get started, click on the blue enroll button. So these are the things you're going to need to have handy, basically the contents of the bridge box. So now we need to get the 12 digit MAC address off the yellow label inside the battery compartment and enter it in this field. When you're done, click continue. Now you're going to have four minutes to get things connected. Let's uh, connect an ethernet cable from your Wi-Fi access point or router into the Nexia bridge and connect power. This will take a minute to boot up and connect to our servers. So there, we're done. So now let's add our first device. Click on the green Add Device button. In this case, we're going to do a lock. Click on the uh, blue button next to the appropriate device. Now, since this is going to require a subscription, um, you're going to be prompted to set that up right now. Click Accept. So this is your billing information. This should match the billing information on your credit card. Now we need to enter the credit card number, expiration date, and the security code. The security code is usually on the signature pad on the back of your card. So now let's get started putting in the lock. Here's some high-level information on what you're going to need. In the next screen, we give more detailed information on how to initiate the process on your device. So now you'll have four minutes to get this going. In this case, I'm going to enter the programming code from the label. There, that was easy. It'll take a minute, then we can name our lock. In this case, I'm putting it on my front door. And we can click on Setup and set up some of the more specific aspects of your device, in this case, our lock. So now, that was easy. If you want to add more devices, just click the green button and go through a similar process.